Yeah. It just come up with the preparation. Like you understand, like what you know, you you have a lot of more fun when you know what you're doing. Yeah. It's not as fun when you have to worry about the assignment and alignments and stuff like that. So when you when you just like understand what you're doing, you're capable of doing things. It just happened naturally. That was one of the things Coach Venables talked about today. Was that you know this should be fun, like right. working hard, all that exactly. stuff should be fun. How much does he maybe preach that to you? How much Especially after like? wins, because winning is hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, no matter how it happens, no matter what it takes, it just winning is is definitely going to be a hard situation. So we just trying to have fun living in the moment. But having some success last week or having success through four games or seeing a guy like Key Lawrence just grow up right before your eyes. And, and, and Key, you know, if anybody's had conversation with Key uh, two years ago, uh, you'd say, man, what a neat, neat guy. Um, but he'll be the first to tell you that there were always these seeds of doubt. Um, Key was a guy that just kind of always worried about, you know, the externals, things that he can't control, uh, you know, other people, environment, man, what you might be thinking about him, and instead of just focus on himself and focus on his opportunity and and having great self awareness, I got to get better, and that's not an easy thing to do for a lot of young guys uh, because they've always been the guy, uh, but the margin for error shrinks when you get to college, and it shrinks when you play better people, and uh, he's he's just had an amazing transformation. Um, I would say probably uh, since the start of you know, in January, uh, the end of the season. Well, I didn't know that, but now that he did say that about me, I appreciate that, man. Um, He's been telling me that I've been doing a good job practicing to hold myself better, and I've just been trying to be accountable, man, just uh, living in the moment, just trying to go step by step, day by day. Um, everybody's different. You just got to carry yourself and just sit back and observe first, and then you go out there and post things th the right way. Um, like, for example, I have, like, Isaiah Cole. He's more of a loud guy, but he's quiet as well on the football field, and sometimes he can be loud, so you just approach him different than you would Danny Stessman, who's always rowdy you know what i'm saying so it just be like no offense to danny i know how danny is but like <laughs> well yeah so it's just different approach and just sit back and observe first and before you go out there and just make a critique brent talked about january when you came back right. uh, after the break things had changed for you what what happened during the break and kind of did you explore like portal and things like that or no, it was, just my, it was just my mindset, man. Like, I found myself last year just always getting down on myself just because questioning things that I can't control. Yeah. So I just try to control the controllables. I know it's cliche to sound, but cliche to say, but I definitely just try to live in the moment, like I keep saying, because it's just, you can, people like, you just got to have an attitude of gratitude. And I had to learn at the hallway, and they were just getting down on myself, and I had to pick myself up and understand I can't get down like that no more. How much fun have these last couple weeks? It's been real fun, man. Like, just seeing all my guys buying in, and we just trying to, like, have fun on the football field because we got to be here anyway, so we may as well put the work in. I would say just overall demeanor, you know. Um, it's just starting to click, you know, with, I think, you know, coming up, he's a senior right now, I'm pretty sure, and that, you know, it's coming to an end. You know, you have more days behind you than you have in front of you here at Oklahoma, of course, but he's been playing great ball, and you know, I, I think he'll continue to do that. That, that fourth year, that fifth year, that sixth year player, usually they have their best years of football on the back end, not on the front end. And, and every once in a while, a guy like an Adrian Peterson or a Sam Bradford after a redshirt year will just like play at an amazing level. Those are unicorns. And, uh, but most people, most competitors, most players aren't like that. It, it, there's, there's a developmental process and it's mind, body, and spirit. You know, their body looks like this, but internally they're not quite there for whatever reason. And so that's a, for me, for coaches, that's a really cool, and I love to promote that. I love saying, Key, man, I'm super proud of you and, you know, all the growth that's taken place. And you're a leader now, you know. It ain't just about you. Uh, you're a leader now. Guys look up to you. And uh, you're a great example. And look, you start focusing on your teammates' success, uh, having humility, uh, showing up every day with the right mindset, and look how much improvement has taken place. Teammates see that. Certainly he does. That's cool for me. Uh, I love that, and I love to promote that. Coach Hall definitely stepped in that process for me and just telling me, man, like, I just have to sit down and understand where I am. Like, I have to be grateful for this. Uh, a lot of people want, to, want this opportunity, and, it, and they don't have it. And I just have to understand that. And um, Coach, Coach V as well, he was definitely a good mentor for me, man. This, because this is the first coach I had twice, and um, this, this being here with him again, and then, and him believing in me, definitely gave me the confidence that I needed. Because that's just something that uh, a coach and a player relationship that you would definitely want.